as a last ditch effort, we decided right before we go home, we should come over to a last and final viewpoint. And so right now we're running, trying to catch the sun before it sets. We found a good place to watch it. We're Mike and Laura of MikeandLauraTravel.com. For the last four years, we've been traveling the world and documenting our adventures. Our successful travel blog has taken us to some pretty amazing destinations. We're excited to be able to share our experiences and what we learn along the way. Visit our website to stay connected or subscribe to our channel today and don't miss our weekly uploads. Today we're going to the Poca de Dona Baja Hot Springs. We'll see what they look like and how much it'll cost you to get in. This is something you should absolutely do during your visit here to Sao Miguel Island for the relaxation and the tranquil experience. But I wanted to dive into how we got here. Uh, I'm back at home filming in Laura's old room that she grew up in. She, you can see she was quite the racer. Um, but I want to tell you that this whole trip here was all sunshine and rainbows. And whereas there were a lot of rainbows. That's one of the best things to do on the island, chase some rainbows because they're everywhere. There's a double rainbow! Double rainbow! There wasn't a whole lot of sunshine during our trip here. So, in an effort to keep the story rolling, I figured I'll just catch you up on the day leading to the hot springs and uh, introduce you to our friends who came along. A couple of days before heading to the hot springs, we had some friends travel all the way from back home to visit. They flew in from Denver, only to be met with the same bad weather we were going through following our first adventure to the Sete Cidades viewpoint. We were extremely happy to have friends from the states visiting and decided to try to make the best of their stay regardless of the weather. So the first day after their landing, we went out to catch some viewpoints and explore. Up to, what is it called, Mira Miradero da Barosa. What she said? <laughs> Okay, we're going to this viewpoint. So far, the views have been amazing. It is raining a little tiny bit here and there, but we're gonna hope for sunny weather. Okay, so this is definitely rain and or sideways rain because, <laughs> yeah, this is bad. Uh-oh. The viewpoint didn't work out, clearly. And we we're on our way to go to a hot springs um, that was just on the other side of that viewpoint. And, Unfortunately, the pools were empty today. After a fantastic lunch, we're gonna go check out a tea tour. Oh. It's self-guided, so we get to do it by ourselves. As you can see, we had quite a few of our plans fall through. That's when we ran into this beautiful viewpoint that we had to check out. I wonder what town we're even in. Is it the same? This short-lived experience was something we were grateful for after being stuck in the car and driving through the rain. We're checking out this possible viewpoint. If you come to the left here, you'll see that there's a little opening, door. <laughs> and we're gonna go and look. And then next, we're gonna go over there because it looks really cool over there. So come on. Viewpoint number 20 today. This might be factual. Wow. I keep on telling the camera that we're totally going to do something that we're not going to do. We don't even end up anywhere near where I suggest or maybe even say that we're going together. But this time, we found a swimming hole down off of the ledge of this place. And we decided Whee! we should all go down there and check it out. That was a really cool location, but 
it seems like the tide's coming up and starting to go over that walkway really quick. So we're getting out of here. Another viewpoint. Just kind of really exploring the island, just having a good time going around looking like tourists. Lots of cute little houses, beautiful views. I'm sure there's a lot more to do here, but I think no, we're gonna like, head that's back like to Ponta oh. Delgada. That was a good day. As a last ditch effort, we decided right before we go home, we should come over to a last and final viewpoint. And so right now we're running, trying to catch the sun before it sets. We found a good place to watch it. The hot springs were highly anticipated after our cold and cloudy day spent driving around. They are located in Furnas, a small town about 40 minutes outside of Ponta Delgada. It's only 6 euro for adults, 4 euro for kids, and 1 euro for your locker. You're given a wristband to show the time slot you arrived. You get a total of 2 hours from the time you check in. This area is so lush and they have it well maintained throughout. The locker rooms are located just after the entrance within this picturesque garden. I guess maybe in here. Each person receives their own locker space. They have clean changing rooms and bathrooms centrally located at the entrance to the springs. all different pools that are different temperatures. Most of them are 39 degrees Celsius. Some of them are 29 degrees. Um, and it's wonderful. There's, you know, a few people here and there, but uh, we had this pool do all to ourselves. So perfect. pool is just more shallow than most of them. It says it's just about 80 centimeters tall, which I have no idea what that is in inches, but it's not very high. It only comes up to my thigh. But it's really nice. And you don't have to be all the way in the water the whole time. I have stuff on my face because all of this actually rubs off and can get on you. Iron, metal everywhere. It'll probably stain, that's all right. That's it. We're done. Yeah. You're already admitting defeat. I just feel like we don't know what's ahead, guys. <laughs> Any second now. Look, the sky is going lighter. <laughs> wow. This is our view. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's very pretty. Everywhere is a viewpoint. When you've never been there. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go over there because it looks really cool over there. So come on. <laughs> come with me. <laughs> come on, everybody. Come on. This is it. What's it called? Oh. <laughs> Mira Duro Melo Nunes. <laughs> Mira Duro. Mira Duro. <laughs> Nunes. 
Because okay. I don't know how to be Portuguese. So I'm okay. <laughs> Oh, they are not gonna have dry stuff by the end of the day. Why did she run like that? That's how she runs. <laughs> it smells like eggs. Very, very strong, potent eggs that have been left out in your kitchen for days. I guess maybe in here. So evidently no one wanted to be filmed in the changing room. That makes a little bit of sense. 